Hi, my name is Kathy Hunter. I'm the Chief of Pediatric Surgery and the Fellowship Director for Pediatric Surgery. Um, I joined the program about two years ago and it's been my absolute pleasure. Oklahoma Children's Hospital is very unique um, in that we also uh, provide care to both people from a very rural environment. Some of our patients drive as much as four hours to come and see us, um, but we also serve the urban area. So we have all of the typical pathologies and problems that you see in busy metro areas. We take care of about 75% of the pediatric population for our state, as well as caring for some of the patients that are in states on either side. That means that we, we really, I believe, have a, a significant and unique responsibility to our regional area um, that is different from uh, some of the other centres that I worked in previously, where perhaps there were multiple centres within the same city even. So that is something that I, uh, I find a challenge, but also something that really makes this very worthwhile. Oklahoma Children's Hospital is also a growing hospital. There's a lot of growth within all the different departments and it's really an exciting time to be here in Oklahoma City. It's absolutely imperative to have the best possible care available to patients right here in the state that they live in. It is a shame when people actually have to travel outside of the state for care and I can say with 100% confidence that we provide the best possible care for our patients here at Oklahoma Children's Hospital. So you can see the Oklahoma Children's Hospital behind you. It is a 330 bed or so uh, freestanding hospital that's associated with our adult hospital across the street, the University of Oklahoma Medical Center. One interesting fact about Children's is that on the fourth and fifth floor, all of our labor and delivery services are actually inside of our Children's Hospital. So our OB service is a fairly high risk service and so it's very nice to have all of the patients uh, that we may have to be dealing with actually delivered in the Children's Hospital, very proximate to our neonatal ICUs. So cost of living, living in Oklahoma City, my wife and I live in uh, downtown Oklahoma. Um, we live in a two bedroom apartment. It's very affordable, uh, convenient to get to work. I only live a couple minutes away from the hospital and it's very close to entertainment as well as to travel. We only live about 10, 15 minutes to the airport. Um, very limited traffic for getting to work and coming home from work. So it means that when we do get home, we're home with our families, which is great. And when we need to get into the hospital really quickly, it doesn't take us very long to get here. I think the most important things to know about this program is the great culture. Um, I was so happy and relieved when I got here and realized that there was um, just an amazing group of attendings, um, support from the OR staff, the office staff, our nurse practitioners, the clinic staff, um, just a very welcoming environment overall um, and a great culture to work in. What I loved about Oklahoma Children's was that it's a very high volume center when you compare to other centers as far as the number of beds and the number of surgeries that the fellows are doing. It's really up there on the list. And there's a medium sized program as far as how many attendings and uh, ancillary staff as well. I just thought it would be a great experience based on the volume and the people that I'd be working with. One of the things that impressed me the most as I've transitioned from the role of a fellow to the role of an attending is how well prepared I was by the training program here because of the wide breadth of pathology that we see and the different patients we take care of. I feel very comfortable and confident in my role as an independent attending physician. We're a comprehensive children's hospital that includes labor and delivery. We're also the only level one children's hospital in the state of Oklahoma, so we see all the trauma patients. We're also the only hospital that provides pediatric oncology services such as chemotherapy and radiation. We're very busy but you'll walk away from this program and you'll be able to do anything you want to do. At the clinics in Oklahoma Children's Hospital for Pediatric Surgery, we see a wide variety of diseases that affect uh, babies and adolescents in Oklahoma, from rural areas to the city. We are the only uh, full-service children's hospital uh, in the state. We also see prenatal visits in which we get the opportunity to educate uh, mothers with kids or that are expecting babies with a variety of congenital diseases. You know, I enjoy working with kids and they're really fun to take care of. They don't, oftentimes they don't even know they're sick and um, so they're super tough and resilient. And it's also the, the trust that families put in us as pediatric surgeons uh, to care for their children, you know, at a pretty um, vulnerable point in their lives. The surgery fellows will operate, you know, pretty much every day and do lots of cases, see lots of different types of disease. There's also a lot of autonomy with our program. The fellows run the service, they make plans and get to operate a lot in the OR independently as well. So 
It's a great program for becoming a pediatric surgeon someday.